Um, so moving to a different topic, um, there's been a proposed repeal of um, something called the head tax, which is also a business transportation tax. Um, some people say um, we need the money for pedestrian and bicycle infrastructure, and then um, thinking of from the business business aspect. So what's your? Uh, I I have flip flopped on this one, and I'm I'm becoming convinced now that repealing the head tax is a good idea. Um, I think the reason that the head tax was implemented was because the city was looking for, um, uh, was trying to find additional revenue. And the city is doing this on the one hand, while at the same time uh, our mayor has, has supported the, uh, the uh, most expensive uh, replacement for the viaduct, is wanting to pour hundreds of millions of dollars into South Lake Union. Uh, there's been a proposal to spend $200 million on a jail. Um, uh, we are, you know, we, uh, we built a, uh, a streetcar to South Lake Union primarily, in my opinion, to support Paul Allen's development plans there at a cost of $50 million. We are willing to spend money on these big, expensive capital projects, and then, and then, uh, and then the, the city starts looking for ways of, of compensating for the money that, that we're spending over here by looking at, uh, for other sources. Uh, I think we do a poor job of understanding and supporting the challenges that small businesses face in our city. And that's part of why I, I think repeal of the head tax is a good idea. Okay. Um, so when we look at things like pedestrian master plan or the bicycle master plan, mm -hmm. um, we really have only have a very, very small percentage of the funding in place to actually implement those plans. Right. Um, so, uh, do you have any specific ideas as far as revenue generation? The, the, the kind, the, I want to keep coming back to this, uh, redirecting um, our investment. Um, let me take the Mercer mess, for example. $200 million proposed to, to fix Mercer without, uh, without uh, appreciably increasing traffic flow. Um, and an additional almost uh, seven to eight hundred thousand dollars in, in infrastructure support uh, for the development of South Lake Union. If if we could shift, or if we if we would shift our investment uh, from uh, the, the two hundred million dollars that's been proposed for Mercer, and we don't have it yet. The, the mayor is trying to get. He's going back now, trying to get uh, 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 federal dollars, incentive dollars. Uh, uh, to make up the fifty dollar, the fifty million dollar gap, if we if we could invest uh, that much money in roads and bridges and sidewalks and so on uh, in our neighborhoods, I think it would be it would be um, a much better service uh, to our community, to the neighborhoods, to making the pedestrian and the bicycle ma master plans uh, realities rather than um, fine ideas on uh, on reports and pieces of paper. Okay. Um, so if you were to take Kind of the whole picture of the transportation pie. Um, where would you allocate, um, as far as the amount of money and the prioritization for funding? Um, what does that pie look like for you when you're talking about pedestrian, bicycle infrastructure, um, transit, and vehicles? You mean just in terms of looking at a transportation package? I, I, well, just us as the city, right. um, where should we be putting our priorities? Well, into building sidewalks north of 85th, um, uh, uh, much more investment in, <clears throat> in alternative forms of, of transportation, uh, increasing the commute reduction program, um, more investment. I'm, I'm, I'm a big believer in promoting and increasing investment in uh, public transportation through expansion of our bus system. Bus rapid, bus rapid transit, neighborhood circulators, more van pools, more car pools, uh, and those kinds of things. Um, that's where I would want to put uh, put my investment. I, I do not support uh, and I, I do not support the the continuing plans to build streetcars. Um, it's again capital expenses that compete with buses and uh, and ultimately are going to decrease the amount of funds that are available for other forms of public transportation, particularly our bus system. I also think that the 40-40-20 uh, formula needs to be changed 
uh, Seattle is coming out on the short end of that when we have uh, we have many many of our major routes are overcrowded and we simply need more buses in our, in our city right now and I think that um, I, I would support efforts to um, uh, to change that formula to increase the allocation to, Se uh, to Seattle I'm also in favor of looking at um, the possibility of merging uh, Metro and Sound Transit I think we have an inefficient area-wide or region-wide tra transportation system. I think it is uh, an exaggeration to call it a system. We've got half a dozen, six or seven different transit agencies all serving Seattle uh, rather than a single uh, regional transportation agency that has a, an overarching view and plan and ability to integrate uh, our public transportation. And uh, it's, 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 so to speak, not a good way to run a railroad.